Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and today I will be bringing to you Tales of the Iron Legends Episode 3, Dave Draper. As I am sure you have all heard by now, Dave Draper sadly passed away this week at the age of 79 years old. I am making this video to commemorate the lifetime achievements of this legendary icon, who was certainly more than just a bodybuilder. Along with his successes on stage, Dave Draper was also an accomplished author and actor. One thing that I personally admired about him is that he never sacrificed his health for the sport. In fact, he went on record on multiple occasions denouncing the sport in its modern form for its abuse of drugs. Dave Draper also had a very special place in my heart because it was his book, Brother Iron, Sister Steel, that first introduced me to Golden Era Bodybuilding. Although it was not the first bodybuilding book I ever read, that honor goes to Bill Pearl's Keys to the Inner Universe, it was the first bodybuilding book that I personally purchased with my own money. I learned all about the dungeon and the original Gold's Gym from this particular publication. Since then, I still often refer back to this book when it comes to diet and nutrition. In the following slides, I will be giving a biography of his life as well as describe one of his beginner at-home workouts that he recommended for the working individual. Also, feel free to discuss your memories of Dave Draper in the comment section below. Tell me how he inspired you, or if you personally ever interacted with him. It is these recollections that make me feel one step closer to these legends. Sadly, I will never be able to meet this man personally. Even still, I am honored to be able to have a platform to speak about him today. His legacy practically speaks for itself, and just like so many of the other greats, he is immortalized for his contributions. While it is true that Dave Draper is now gone, he certainly will not ever be forgotten. Thank you for watching and enjoy. Dave Draper was born in Secaucus, New Jersey in 1942. Ever since a young age, Mr. Draper was always interested in physical fitness and sports. He first saw photos of Steve Reeves as Hercules as a young boy, and it was these very images that left an everlasting impression on him. He first began weight training when his parents gifted him a set of hand grippers at the age of seven years old. From here, he then purchased a five-spring chest expander at the age of 10, and finally began training on iron at the age of 12 years old, which he stored under his bed for a number of years. Over time, he gradually added more and more weight to this set as his body grew and he became stronger and bigger. By just the age of 15 years old, Mr. Draper had made massive improvements to his back, which garnered some attention from locals regarding his training. During his high school years, Mr. Draper became an accomplished wrestler, swimmer, and gymnast in his area. Throughout this time, Mr. Draper had not once considered bodybuilding as a possible full-time career. It was not until he was 21 years old that he entered into his first bodybuilding competition. The competition he decided to enter was the local Mr. New Jersey competition. Surprisingly, he won in relatively convincing fashion. From there, he was eventually offered a job by Joe Weider himself to work at his gym in Santa Monica. After about six weeks, he decided to move out west to California and take up Joe Weider on his offer. It was Mr. Weider himself who gave Mr. Draper his famous nickname, the Blonde Bomber. Two years after training at the infamous Dungeon in California, Mr. Draper tried his luck at the 1965 IFBB Mr. America contest, of which he captured the overall title. He trained another year before entering into his third major competition, which turned out to possibly be the biggest of his entire career the 1966 IFBB Mr. Universe competition. Unsurprisingly at this point, the Blonde Bomber once again secured the overall victory. It was not long after this point that Mr. Draper began lifting at the original Gold's Gym. Here, he met all the legends from the beach, including a young up-and-comer in Arnold Schwarzenegger in the year 1968. During the same time, Mr. Draper was experimenting with numerous different avenues of interest, Concurrent with bodybuilding, he also tried his chops as an actor, starring in numerous different films and shows throughout the mid-1960s. At the same time, he also continued competing in the sport, and captured his final victory in 1970, this being the IFBB Mr. World competition. He did compete once more, 
cracking the top three in the 1970, 1970 NABBA Mr. Universe competition before officially announcing his retirement. He continued to train at Gold's Gym for many years after this and was re renowned for his intense full-body workouts. Mr. Draper also dabbled in authorship as well, writing some of the greatest books ever written on the golden era of bodybuilding. Brother Iron, Sister Steel, and Iron on My Mind are two of my absolute favorites. If you are interested in learning about some of the more personal side of Dave Draper's life, please consult his literature, of which I have shown in these slides. These books are some of the most expertly crafted pieces of text I ever have personally read and are must-haves in every bookshelf. In the following slide, I will describe one of Mr. Draper's at-home workouts, which he described in the book Brother Iron, Sister Steel. Enjoy. The source of this routine is Brother Iron, Sister Steel, a bodybuilder's book, on page 81. It is titled Home Trainer Routine Number 1, Busy Body. This routine is designed for the working man who does not have much time in the week to actually work out. It should take you roughly one hour to complete and is a full body workout routine that should be performed three times a week on alternating days. And the exercise list is as follows. To start off with, you will do bench press one to four sets for 12, 10, 10, and eight reps. You will then superset this with stiff arm dumbbell pullovers, one to four sets for 10 reps. You will then go over to bent arm barbell row, one to four sets for eight to 10 reps. Then you will perform barbell curls, one to four sets for eight to 10 reps. And you will superset this with dips between chairs, one to four sets, for between 10 to 12 reps, or you could alternately do maximum, go to your max. Next, you will do light bar squats, two to four sets of 15 reps, reps and superset this with toe raises off the block. Two to four sets for between 15 to 20 reps. So not a super complex exercise routine, but I really love the superset aspects. I don't cover that much on this channel, but Vince Gironda was a pretty big advocate of supersetting, and so am I. Especially if I need to mix up my routine or get a little bit more volume in a little faster, I will always do supersets. And what it does is it allows you to do workouts much quicker and do a lot more volume very fast. So in ways you can see how Dave Draper kind of uh, blended elements of silver era bodybuilding and lifting into golden era bodybuilding and lifting. He was sort of that transitional early mid 60s uh, period and that is really where golden era bodybuilding was still kind of finding its footing. And he created this routine and he followed it into his own workout routine, this style of training where you would superset and do full body workouts. He was famous for performing absolutely brutal full body workouts with these insane supersets and a lot of volume. And it's a very interesting training style. But that is pretty much everything I want to cover on Dave Draper today. If you're interested in any more of his workouts or any other of his books, do let me know. I'm thinking about do, uh, doing reviews on each of his individual books if you're interested in that. If you have any other future video ideas, do leave them in the comment section below. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. But until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.